Right, here you go. This is what I ordered for lunch today. That's just goodness right there. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh, look at that, dude. That's just calories written all over it. Oh, look at that. Just so ugly. I don't even wear a belt anymore. Look at that. Barely hanging on. But dear life. It's been exhausting. And it's taken a toll on me emotionally. Oh. Physically. It's starting to hang. It's just been very, very difficult. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that reflection is. It's definitely not me. It just doesn't match who I am. Millions of us are overweight. We turn to experts for advice on how to get from fat to fit. But the experts don't understand because they've never been fat. I'm Drew Manning. As a personal trainer, I failed again and again to help my heaviest clients get fit. Eventually, I realized the problem was me. So I went on a journey to discover what it's like to be fat. I've gained 75 pounds. I developed a fatty liver and the kidneys of an alcoholic. Getting fit again was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it made me a better man. Now trainers from across the country are participating in the most extreme weight loss experiment ever. They're trying to gain as much weight as they can and then lose it with their clients. It's a journey that could change both their lives forever. My name is Alexander Dela Cruz. I've been a dietitian and a trainer for a little over 17 years. Exercise is definitely a high for me and for everyone who experiences a proper pump. It's a euphoric feeling. I believe strongly that I'm the best trainer in LA. When you hire me as a trainer, you are buying a new life. transformation. Yeah, you want to get that? There you go. I would like to show the world getting fit is easy and staying lean and ripped. This experiment will just open up people's eyes, you know? Get shredded, look great. That's what it's all about. I'm going to go ahead and look at this video for Jeff Danker, who's looking to lose weight. My name is Jeff Danker. I am 28 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California. I am the Senior Environmental Policy Advisor for the Southern California Gas Company. I was in really good shape going into college. I was coming fresh off, you know, playing high school basketball. It just happened. I'm sitting all day and eating too much. I, I enjoy food. I love food. Smoked brisket over here. We've got the pulled pork over here. <laughs> I'm definitely a foodie. Ice cream, I'm, I'm a big fan of ice cream. A lot of meat, I'm really into all sorts of different Asian foods. I love sushi, I love fish. Whatever's on the plate, I'm gonna finish that. Oh. I tell myself, you know, do whatever you want. You're young, you're a kid. So this is me with my shirt off. Uh, so what, what am I not thrilled about? Uh, I guess short answer is, is everything. I'm engaged to my beautiful fiance, Catherine. I want to lose 75 pounds, 100 pounds. I want to be sexy and beautiful for my wife. Jeff never really tells me any of the problems that he has with his weight. He knows that I worry a lot and that I don't think he wants to burden me. But his health, there is no sense of urgency. I don't want to see him have you know, health issues. 
I want him to enjoy, you know, being outdoors and being athletic, but it's not going to come by magic. He's going to have to work at it. What mom or dad doesn't want their child to live to be 99 years old and have a great life for as long as possible? I can't really see my future without him. I don't know. <laughs> I get emotional when I think about it. Alex will be adopting the diet and lifestyle of his client. It'll be a radical change for him. So right now I'm going to meet Jeff for the first time, and he doesn't know that I'm going to be gaining a lot of weight in the next four months. I think he's going to realize like how devoted I really am to helping him. Jeff is like the majority of Americans are overweight because they just don't care. Obese people do lack discipline. It frustrates me because it's extremely selfish. It's irresponsible to be obese. I absolutely feel the judgment of the skinny world. You can kind of feel it. You can kind of like, oh, this dip doesn't even know how to be healthy or how to take care of himself. My biggest fear dealing with the trainer is just that he's going to be an ass and he's going to be terrible to work with. I have never worked with a personal trainer before. I am a little worried that he's not going to fully understand where I'm coming from and what it's like to be overweight. Jeff. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm Alex. You must be Alex. Yeah, nice to meet nice you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Can, give me a hug. Give me a hug. We're going to be we'll friends be for a while, while, buddy. Let's come over here and, and let's chat. OK. Eating has always been um, my first and second and third criteria are always, does it taste good? I've never had, like, a strict diet, eating healthy, going to the gym, not drinking so much. Um, this is like becoming an adult. So, so it sounds like you're scared of growing up. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I honestly do not think Jeff understands the risks that he's in line for. He needs a wake up call. So I'm not gonna see you in about four months. I'm going to be gaining weight in that four months, 60 pounds. And I'm going to be destroying my body so that we can go ahead and lose this weight together. Do you want to gain 60 pounds? Like, do you want <laughs> to? You, you, you need it. I don't think he has the, the vision inside himself to see what's going on. And, you know, it's got to change. We're going to get you on that right road. That's incredible sacrifice. Wow. Show you that it can be done. It needs to be done. Can't believe you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about gaining a serious amount of weight and in a short amount of time. It sounds like fun work, but I'm a little surprised that he's willing to go through so much uh, just for my benefit. He's going to be a hard guy to, to change. Alex is beginning his fit to fat journey. He's going to adopt the diet and lifestyle of his client, Jeff, which means lots of eating out and no exercise. Here we are about to enjoy my first indulgent meal, and no better place than what Jeff likes to eat, which is barbecue. Oh, wow. Look at this. I have to increase my fat load, and that's where I'll kind of splurge a little bit. That's how you do it. That's how you eat it. I gotta get the cheese top. <laughs> Pretty good. I can see how someone can get addicted to it. It's dangerous. Mm. 52, 60 ounces of pork. This is what it's going to feel like to be heavy. How you doing? Well, it's my last bite right here. Your last bite? This is it. Alex currently weighs 165 pounds. His goal is to gain 60 pounds in the next four months. It won't be easy. Alex will need to radically increase his caloric intake, and that may affect the way he feels, mentally, physically, and emotionally. It's kicking in now. Fitness is my greatest accomplishment. It's hard to let go of it, but I have it in the back of my head and in my heart that I'm doing this for the right reason. Oh, I can feel it. Jeez, let me just wobble. <laughs> There's a little bit of 
where I'm at right now, you can see my stomach's gone. Abs are just washed out, washed out. Well, they're top two, bottoms are really barely there. You can see that. You can see the pinch. You can see the pinch. <laughs> In the first two weeks, Alex gained 14 pounds. It's been fun, but with 46 more pounds to gain, it's hard to predict how the weight will affect him. Right, here you go. This is what I ordered for lunch today. Add some french fries in there. Mm. I'm eating about 10,000 plus calories a day. Fat, carbohydrate combination, boom. I mean, there's apps on my phone that I've learned now that I can order food from my bed. Oh yeah, come on. Who doesn't want that? I just want to pick up the phone and order. It's more convenient than walking 20 feet to my kitchen and making an omelet or something to eat. Double bacon <laughs> chicken ranch. Look at that, yum. I have been going out and being more social with people and enjoying their energy. I'm eating pizza, I just have nachos. Bam! What, what else is there to live? It's bringing me and my girlfriend closer. Oh, you're the most beautiful woman. She enjoys me being thicker. Some women enjoy this look. It's not too much. Cut, cut, cut. Interesting. 189.5. My friends and the people that love me, they've all told me that they like me better this way than, it went, than when I originally started. Do a box a day, about five cups of milk. Like I'm realizing that being fit and healthy is not really cracked up to what they say it is. With fit people, it seems like it's more of an obsession and it seems like you take away from the real essence of living. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I want to go back to that life. Alex is ahead of schedule. He's grown accustomed to some new patterns that will be hard to break. He's already gained about 40 pounds. He only has about 20 pounds to gain in the remaining weeks. My heart has been beating like a lot heavier. And I've also, and I also received a few pains in my chest last week where I had to take a minute and step back and just stop for a moment and catch my breath. not gonna quit. I know the conditions that I'm facing. This is your part, looking at it with the valves. What I need to do is continue forward and finish what I started. I gotta gain five pounds a week to hit my goal. Three and a half weeks out, from the end, and I need about uh, 15 pounds. So, you know, five pounds. I'll probably put on a little bit more. It's like 208. I'm definitely having exercise withdrawals with lifting weights. I desperately need to work out. I just want to work out so bad. I can feel my arms like going to crap. My body's dying. <sighs> I'm sure this is what happens in Jeff, or in Jeff's mind, what he wants to do at work. Just want to kind of like relax. I just don't have energy now. I just want to sleep. I feel like crap 90% of the day. It's just, my moods are up and down. My energy levels are erratic, very unstable. Me and my girlfriend, Mackenzie, have... We just, we just fight a lot these days. Doesn't matter if it's a doctor, if I have a PhD, it doesn't matter. Focus if you're related to nutrition, I never if said you're that. related to nutrition, you're just a trainer. He is extremely sensitive. 
and he's admitted to that, so this is not new news. Well, you know, I thought you, you want to be supportive, and this is being I supportive. I am being supportive, Alex. You make me feel like, like it's all my fault then. Yeah, I know it could be my fault related to how anything. I'm feeling. I'm not going to say anything. And do you honestly think it's you're being quiet. supportive? Huh? Do you? I broke up with Mackenzie. I'm taking in a lot of depression, and I thought she was going to be supportive, and she just thinks I'm the same person as I used to be when before I even started this journey. And it's unfortunate because I'm not. I just don't have that support as much as I thought I did with her. I, I, I tried to eat this morning. I just, I just can't hold anything down. People today mentioned at the gym that I'm really heavy, so you can see I'm, geez, my shorts are falling off of this. Did that change? Being overweight, being 200 plus pounds, it's like desperately bad. I get frustrated, just want to quit. pounds I probably about 55 pounds total my goal my goal to establish was 225 I think I'm going to be short about six or seven pounds in four months of eating Alex gained 53 pounds just a few pounds shy of his goal of 225 now he will experience trying to get fit with a body that is 53 pounds heavier I am pumped that it, I can at least go and work out and I can start eating healthy and rejuvenate my body, get the ball going and move beyond this and learn from it. Today is the first day of our workout program. Uh, I haven't seen Alex in a few months. If Alex has put on 50 pounds, um, it's honestly gonna show me that he cares, that he's dedicated, uh, that, he, that he really is passionate about uh, helping me achieve my, you know, both short-term and long-term goals. This is the big moment. He's gonna get here, I'm gonna reveal my body, show him what I've been doing for the last four months and all the damage I've caused to it. Hey, hey what's up, wow. buddy? Wow, <laughs> holy cow, man. Oh. Good to see you. Good to see oh you, Oh my man. God, look at you. I know, look at this. You're like a legit fat guy now, you know, not trying to offend you, but <laughs> You're one of us now, you know, like, we're kind of twinsies. <laughs> twinsies. <laughs> it's time, it's time to put, go back to work. It's time to bring the happy life back. It's time to get out of this rut. All right, right there. So what do we have? We have 40. Holy, you know what I'm normally? Guess what I'm normally? 32. 31. 29, 31. 31. That is small. Okay. 90 degrees right there. In the next four months, Alex will try to return to a starting weight. Jeff's goal is to get down to even 200 pounds. Alex will try to draw on his own experience to help Jeff lose an intimidating 83 pounds. Seems like such a massive, huge number. It's a little terrifying, but it's pretty exciting stuff. So this is day two. We're at the beach right now. We got beautiful Venice Beach. Most of all the exercises that we're gonna do today is gonna be targeted for his cardiovascular system so that when we're in the gym, he won't have a hard time breathing. I would love to be able to just nail out all these exercises and, and really kind of like wow him. You know, I just, I just want it to be a successful day. All right, so let's start with jumping jacks. Ready, let's go. I honestly think Jeff is going to pretty much fail at this obstacle. And that's really the, the ultimate goal here is to push him to his limits and see what he has inside of him. Go. Push it. Back. 
There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right here. Good, 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 good. Jumping jacks, go. Two, three, four. Sprint. Sprint. Push it. Push. It's all right. Get up, get up. Finish it off. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. Plant it, plant it, plant it. Jumping jacks. Go, go. Two. Come on, come on. You're good. Come on. Focus on it. Bath. 10, 12. You can use it after this. Go, 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 go. Push it. Jeff, you're slowing down. Go. Come on. Bring it home. Push. Push. And we're almost done, buddy. Get the last last jumping jacks. Turn around. Come on. Don't stop. Don't quit on yourself. Ready? Go, go. Last one. Go, go. Go. I'll know that I went too far as if he starts oh, to regurgitate. Yeah, I'll probably slow down a little bit. I also check his heart and monitor his heart pulse to make sure that he's not exceeding anything over 180 beats per minute. <laughs> Just get it out. Just get it out, dude. Just think of greasy pizza. Don't lay in it. Come on. Get it all out. Get all that bad shit out. There you go. Get it all out. Good job. You're going to make your body change. Jeff popped. He just got a reality check. He realized how out of shape he is. Couldn't control it. Still want that lunch? Just let me be for a second, please. Yeah. This is going to be a challenge a lot harder than he thought it was going to be. Mission accomplished. Welcome to getting fit. It's out with the bad Sucks. and in with the good. So you're not going to eat no more, right? Exactly. Remember this moment. Remember this moment. Keep your arms out, buddy, like a starfish. I didn't think I would throw up. You know, I just, uh, you know, it just happened. My body is talking to me right now. It's saying, you know, how did, <laughs> how did it get like this? You know, how did it, how did it get so bad? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same obstacle course as my client did, and um, hopefully it'll be inspirational for my client to see it. I think uh, my prediction will be that I can do about nine, nine suicides. Getting back to optimal condition is going to be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Get it. There you go. Five more. Good job, hey man. You got it, baby. There you go. There you go. Three, four. Oh. Yeah. Hands up high. There you go. My leg's cramped. It looks like he really has not been exercising. It looks like he's going to struggle these first couple weeks and months with me. And that's, you know, selfishly, that's kind of cool. Like, I'm kind of glad we're, we're going at it together. My muscles haven't been utilized in so long. I want to see you puke. Normally, what I can do is probably about nine of those. Whew. I only did it once like Jeff. I haven't felt this feeling in a long time. Dude. Feel a little different than four months ago? A little. That's embarrassing for me. It's, it's insulting for me. It's not good enough. So I just arrived at Jeff's house. Before I finalize his meal plan, I have a few questions that need to be answered. And some of those questions are related to some red flags that came up on his blood work. The first thing is, when we were training today, the energy just ran out, and you were starting to get lethargic feeling. That right there, my friend, is going to be your glucose levels. At 121, you're approaching pre-diabetic stage. Diabetic is not a, a joke. You're going to have to take insulin shots. You'll, right. even, you'll even become more obese. So you want to stay away from that. The second thing I want to go over, LDL cholesterol is 180. You're peaking very high. That'll equal a heart attack, OK? It's, it's kind of relieving. I know that it sounds bad, but it's kind of relieving that I'm kind of like at that cusp. I'm not completely on the red line of like, you will die in the next week or two, you know? How do you know that? I don't know that. I, I just so saw, the chart. Why, you saw the chart. Why gamble I saw the chart. I'm in the like almost danger zone. 
and that's what I'm saying. You that's are what I'm in saying. The, the, the time you know, is right. You're I feel like in this the is danger good time. zone. You're right now in bad going into very bad. That's the danger zone. I think I came at this a little naive that, that I thought I was just kind of a little pudgy and and uh, if I if I worked out three times a week and you know it'd be cute for my wedding photos and stuff like that but to to get some blood work dumped on me and to kind of throw some health realities into the mix it definitely made it uh, very real I'm telling you right now this is something that you can't play with I, I am scared if I showed that to my mother what how she would react I mean think about it it would be horrifying for your mother to bury her son right so we can change that now, OK? We can stop it, and we can go on to a better life. This should be your challenge to beat, not the gym. This right here needs to get better, or you're going to lead to a fatality. Understand that, all right? I'm not super optimistic right now about how this is going. I feel less optimistic today than I did yesterday. This was a pretty low day for me, no lies. Today's workout's gonna be both of us. Okay. All right, so everything you do, I'm gonna do. Cool. All right, so no, I'm not advanced more than you. As you can saw at the beach, I only did one set too, and you only did one set. Right. So we're equal, okay? Yeah. So understand, we're not gonna make excuses. We're gonna push through it together. If I start to, you know, fall back, push me, man. Of course. All right, I don't wanna be a hypocrite, you know what I mean? So sure. I'll push you in the same direction, okay? Cool. Two, one, get it. much time, buddy? About halfway through. You got it, dude. You got this. It's very challenging for me to get back into becoming fit. 15 seconds. Good job, man. It's emotionally hard for me to accept that I've taken my body from this optimal condition to starting over. There you go. Keep that form going. Doing well, Jeff. Higher up, higher up. Push, push, push. Good. Time out. Walk off. Walk, don't stop. That was like the beach. You threw up that way. Pace. I do have some concerns, but I am committed. I do want to try to make this all work. Three, six. Come on, come on, come on. Job, man. I see the, the struggle to lose weight. See how I'm pushing beyond it? The work involved, especially the psychological work. I look at it now and I know like those challenges that people face. Find your focus. We're doing this for a reason. Keep going, keep going. Push, 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 push. The reason is to save Jeff's life. If I failed and I put my heart, body, and soul into it, I really couldn't look at myself the right way in the mirror anymore. It's all right. Remember those moments, all right? So when we go a little bit further, you're going to feel more confident. Yeah. Good job, though. Good effort. Good workout, too. Did you get car wash? No, my car needs a wash. You wanna wash it? You just parked That's in the part sprinklers? That's part of being a good client, is washing your trains. Are you kidding me? <laughs> At the beginning of their Fat to Fit journey, Alex and Jeff learned that their fitness levels were not that far apart. Jeff started his journey weighing 283 pounds. In the next four months, he needs to lose 83 pounds to reach his goal. Alex will need to lose 53 pounds to return to his starting weight. So 273, so about 10 pounds in a week? 206.4. So you, you right lost, on the money. You lost 14 pounds in a week? Yes, yep, yep. Good push. Don't focus on racing. Good, good, Jeff. Push. Push, 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 push. When I first met him, he thought it was going to be, you know, really simple. It was gonna be like cut and paste. And now he's starting to realize that this is a whole different way of living. He wants me to have almost like a cup of eggs and kale. <laughs> My entire salad's already there. Everything I need is so good. I have to admit that I have skipped that one a few times. 
cookie dough whey. Cookie dough whey makes those waffles taste like, like what are they, graham crackers? Just bomb, dude, they're just so bomb. If you've never had a real pancake or waffle, it's pretty good. That's not bad. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How, How are you? Doing? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Tired. 261. 25 yeah. pounds good job, less. Dude. Good job. High five. 200.2. So I is it 201. Pretty close. Pull out. There you go. We've established that trust together, and he sees the power of nutrition, he sees the power of training. <laughs> and he's losing the weight. Now I have his complete trust. So this is Jeff, my, one of my clients. He's down 370 pounds right now. Started at 610. <laughs> 30 seconds. I was at a wedding this weekend. I did not cheat on my diet. Uh, I was sending pictures of everything to Alex throughout is, is my progress at the gym where you expect it to be. Above and beyond. Really? Yeah. I've gone five weeks without red meat. I grew up in Kansas, dude. Like, we have red meat, like, it's twice a day, you know? <laughs> it's very important for me. Go, go. It feels good to be able to push through and go past my, my failure point or my maximum point. <sighs> So that, that's good, and I need to keep reminding myself because I'm kind of a realist, pessimist, <laughs> kind of leaning guy, so I need to kind of give myself some uh, optimism and some you know, positive feedback. I went to work today to work out for two and a half hours. I had four trainers come up to me and tell me, like, you look like you're leaning out already. So that was a good sign. It was very motivational. Like an arm muscle. I feel more alive, I feel energetic, I'm very happy. She's so beautiful. Look how beautiful you are. Me and Mackenzie work things out. We've um, came to an understanding that we both just need to communicate better. I'm really happy about that. Good moving. Focus on breathing, Jeff. Good job, bro. It's, it's tough for me uh, uh, when you talk about physical progress, especially on my body, because I don't know, when I look in the mirror, I still see a lot of problems and it's, it's, it's kind of like a constant reality check. Come on, let, let your weight down, go up, all the way, pull, 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 pull. pull. I'm still not you know, thrilled with my midsection. You know, I still have a big chest. I still have a rounded stomach. You know, I still have love handles and all that stuff. I can't do this, dude. I think he's definitely lost inches. He just doesn't see the weight loss that I see. I just think he's getting frustrated with the journey of weight loss. But I've seen it with my own experience with other clients. He, he sees himself as how he originally started. He's never, it's not good enough. I'm going to talk to Jeff to reveal his blood work uh, and let him know where he's sitting now today. Right now, it's too much attention on the physique. He still has that perfect frame or that perfect body in his mind. His confidence is just gonna hover. Jeff, are you satisfied with your body? No, I'm not satisfied with my body. What do you not like? Just like the average person you look at is in pretty good shape or in better shape than I am. Mm -hmm. And like, I noticed that, you know, it's like you just driving home, I saw like 30 people standing at the bus stop. I didn't see one that I would consider out of shape. It just feels embarrassing and, and terrible. I'm like, God, like, I have such a long ways to go. Like, I feel like I've done so much, but, you know, you still look like crap. You know, the average person, you're, you're still not in shape. And so um, I, I get a little discouraged. I get a little down on myself. I told you from day one, never look at the mirror. Stop looking at the mirror. Stop. I don't look at the mirror. And I say, I when we train, I say, who cares about it? It's not about that. Like, I think, personally, you have too much focus on your physical form. Isn't that crazy coming from someone whose who's, who life fit? <laughs> yeah, comes from getting clients who are concerned about their physical body? Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? It's a little so, crazy, yeah. 
So I'm telling you that, though. I realized during this experiment, physique, it means nothing. Gaining the weight has made me really appreciate my overall health. Let's look at your old blood. When I first met you, I told you the first thing I noticed was your cholesterol levels were through the roof. Today, you're at 114 down, like 50 points in two months. Okay. It's dropped significantly. Your glucose serum was really high, approaching pre-diabetic state. Glucose today, 78. Glucose 78, 78 is almost pristine, a complete remake. Some of my health stuff is getting improved. You know, I'm, I'm feeling healthier, I'm feeling lighter, I'm feeling springier. I'm super stoked on that. You've seen your blood work change drastically. Mm -hmm. I want to let you know that it can go right back drastically, instantly, all right? It's up to you. Alex has reached the end of his journey. In the first four months, he gained 53 pounds. Oh, I don't know who that is. He spent the last four months trying to get back to his original weight of 165. It's been a brutal eight months with a lot of new challenges. Man, I busted my ass. I dieted hard, I trained hard. I just kept my eye on the prize and good things happened. like reborn, ready to take on the world. All right, look at that, right on the money. <laughs> Alex lost the weight, but his real goal was to empower Jeff to take charge of his own health. Today's graduation for Jeff, and right now I'm headed to go meet Jeff's family, his friends. They haven't seen him, and the last time they remember what he looks like was obese. I think they're gonna flip out when they see him. He's a man. Hi. 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 Good to see you again. <laughs> Joanne, I'm Jeff's mom. <laughs> I'm George. I'm Jeff's dad. Man. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> I'm excited to see Jeff. There's a vibe in the air. And there's there's uh, some electricity. I am anxious to see him. If you recognize him. Eight months ago, Jeff didn't eat well. He didn't train. He, he didn't know how to run properly. Jeff just really didn't have an appreciation towards fitness or anything related to health. I'm a little nervous uh, to see my family and friends just because, you know, I don't want to let anyone down, but I'm honestly more excited than nervous. I think Jeff's all here. I know everyone's excited to see him. I am too. Every time I see him, I'm excited. It's just like such a great success. terribly proud of him. It's just when you see your own your own child do do something so tremendous. It's overwhelming. He's needed to take control of his weight and control of his lifestyle and so this is yeah this has been a big growing up moment not just for him but for both of us. George <laughs> The transformation is, it's, it's astonishing. I didn't recognize him 
when he walked when he walked through the door. It, doesn't he look tall? I, uh, <laughs> Why are you Muscles! Hey, show oh show your muscles! Show your muscles! Show your muscles! Look at this! Oh, oh my God! I'm swooning. <laughs> I feel awesome. I feel really fantastic. <laughs> Alex is great. I couldn't have done this without him, and I'm, I'm so thankful that he was there by my side the entire time. You destroyed yourself for me. You know, <laughs> like you gained all this weight, and you did it for me, and and that's really cool. And uh, I'll never forget this. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. This experience has made me a better dietitian and personal trainer. Now that I've experienced more of the psychological trouble that people face, I can sympathize more with my clients, showing more empathy, caring for individuals more. I feel satisfied in life. What's going on? What's up? All right, Jeff, what's your goal weight? So I want to hit 200 pounds. I, th right. I think I'm close. I think you're really close. One ninety-five. Oh my god! Damn. This time. Yeah. Jeff met his goal of getting down to 200 pounds. Plus, he lost an additional five pounds for a total weight loss of 88 pounds in four months. I had a goal out there, and I went out and did it. Go, 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 go. There you go. Yeah. It is kind of like a, a second chance to sustain a healthy life. All right, let's go. It makes me think back to when I was in high school, and you know, I was really active. Yes. Now that I'm fit, I'm not going to make excuses. Come on. I'm, I'm going to do all the things I want to do. Shut. Ah, you almost made that. I'm going to marry my fiance. I honestly want to help others to show them that I could do it. There we go. I think anyone can be successful. 10-0. Damn. Game point. I think this will always be with me for the rest of my life. He's retiring. Retiring. Right. Well done, man.